Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to another video. You know why I'm here, juice hungry and thirsty. My name is Olivia Janelle, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make mojitos in six different ways. This is a part one of multiple videos that I will be releasing, so stay tuned. So hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out. I've seen a lot of y'all been asking how to make a mojito. First, before we get into making a mojito, you may ask, what is a mojito? A mojito consists of lime, mint, rum, and also some type of sugar, whether that's an actual piece of sugar cane or just the granulated sugar that you put into your drink. And to top it off, soda water. I will be using the Salad Tree Professional Mixologist and Bartender Kit that includes a shaker, a jigger, a strainer, one mesh strainer, a muddler, which is necessary to make pour mojitos, two pourers, and a stir. Personally, I was in the market of getting a matte black shaker because I'm sure you've looked at my other previous videos. If you haven't, that shaker wasn't cute. <laughs> I know you're thirsty. So with all of that said, let's juice get right to it. So for our first mojito, it's the classic mojito. Classic mojito consists of lime wedges, fresh mint, some soda water, and also sugar. I use cane granulated sugar and of course rum. And I am using Bacardi's. So let's try it. So refreshing. Even if you make these virgin, they are the most refreshing drink you can have for the summer. Now let's get to our next mojito, which is the strawberry mojito. Again, it's really simple. Organic strawberries, organic mint, and also organic limes taste the best. Of course, for the garnish, you can have a strawberry, in which I did, and then also put a mint leaf on top. So I'll be using my reusable straw, and let's taste it. That's so good. And the best part about this one is because it has fruit at the bottom, you get to have the best part for last, the fruit that sits at the bottom. It absorbs all the juice from the citrus, the lime, and also the sugar. It's amazing. Definitely should try. Now let's get to our next mojito. This one is not a classic, but it's definitely delicious, especially on a hot South Florida day. Now I know you know what I'm talking about. So this one has muddled cucumber, watermelon, some granulated cane sugar, mint leaves, muddled, and topped with our rum, and then also garnished with a piece of watermelon. So let's try it. So good. Even if this was a virgin mojito and which I kind of like them a little bit better than having one with alcohol in it, but if it's definitely your preference. I'm giving you all the options so you can taste them all for yourself. Now this one so so cool. You got the cucumber that is very, very cool, especially with the watermelon. It's just such a refreshing beverage to have in this upcoming summer. So I hope you enjoy. Now let's get to some really, really good mojitos. Because I like to go against the grain, we are going to be trying this mojito that I created on my own. It is a combination of different things. It has organic blueberries in it, lemon wedges, mint, granulated cane sugar, and also topped off with some soda water and topped with our Bacardi rum. So let's try it. I strongly recommend making this one into a big, huge pitcher for everybody to enjoy during the summer or any other time. It doesn't matter. Strongly recommend. It's just, it reminds me of like a blueberry lemonade, but also fresh with the mint. It's so, and you should try it. A pineapple mojito, and it doesn't get any better than that. What you'll need is, to make this drink, you'll need chunks of fresh organic pineapple. That's my personal preference because the taste profile is top tier mint leaves and also lime some granulated cane sugar all you need to do is add a little bit of soda water on top muddle all of this together and then of course add your rum and i'm going to be using this rum in this one so let's try it It just feels like you're in paradise, you know what I mean? This one is so, so good. I feel like all of these are just kind of pair well with each other. And this one is really, really great to enjoy. I'm, I guarantee you everybody can enjoy this one. It's refreshing. It's great. It's crisp. It's more like irresistible because that's really good. Now let's get to our last but my favorite mojito. Now I saved the best for last. This is a beauty. This is a coconut mojito. 
not served in a coconut like the margarita video. I will link that in the description box below. Strongly recommend watching that one. But it's coconut rum that makes this drink phenomenal. So it's coconut rum, organic mint leaves, and also organic lime wedges. Muddled and served with a pineapple leaf. Of course, I put my own spin on it. I chose to put ginger beer instead of soda water in this. And also some granulated sugar. Now let's try it. This beverage itself needs its own name. Just know it is my favorite, definitely number one. Enjoy. With all of these mojitos that I shared with you, they're definitely more on the classic side. In my future videos, I will be taking it a step further and making crafted mojitos that will be phenomenal. So stay tuned for new videos that will be going with this. But with this selection that I had here, they all went together. They were minimal, but they were also delicious. So with all of that said, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, and if you are also going to be trying any of these cocktails, Please let me know in the comment section down below. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, don't forget to juice be yourself, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye!